Howdy folks, welcome back. I am Big Cheesy. This is another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, we have a great one in store for you today. I've been prepping a lot of stuff. Uh, I haven't gone anywhere near that like I promised. We are going over there today. So we have a little supply drop over there. I think it's on land by the look of it. Um, we have a crash escape ship signal. Nice, right? Um, entrance to Glacial Basin. Okay, so we've got that today. Um, we've also got these two bits down here. So this one, I think I've done with you already, but this one I've been saving. So I went, um, while I was farming yesterday, I found a few bits, uh, bits and pieces elsewhere. Um, as you may notice in the bottom left hand corner, I have now got 225 oxygen. We found this, ultra high capacity tank. Dead useful for everything now. So we aren't gonna, well, we might still drown, but less likely to drown. It's me. So. You know, whatever on that one, right? But we have this. So I found some bits. I didn't go too far into it. I didn't actually scan anything or anything like that yet. Um, I saw something and I thought, do you know what? Maybe you guys would enjoy it. So we pulled back from that one. We have that we're going to look at today as well. But you may be wondering why I'm starting the episode when we have such a lovely base over there. Why we're starting it in here. And the reason is because this is now a base. Yeah, it's yellow. Like, geez, okay. Um, so that's great. It's big. It's... I don't know what it is with the plates, alright? The plates keep changing back to their natural white. I'm not really sure what's up with that. And you might be able to see something like that. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. Welcome so, our base. Rigged up. Lithium on these now. Our reinforcement plates are holding everything together. We have loads of integrity, both myself and the base. But that's nice. We have this, our bedroom. How lovely is this? Okay, we have a window to stare out into the wonder of the ocean and contemplate life. I know. Deep like the ocean. Um, we have this, we have beds, we have aquarium, we have fish inside. I know, like we weren't getting enough of them out there. We have them in here too. Um, they are so live. Okay, amazing. We have the bed. This is lovely. This means you can actually sleep through uh, the nighttime, the dark time. Um, so the ocean, rather than just being deep and dark, it is just deep. But that's nice. Uh, we have this room. I have a plan for this room later on that I will go into with you guys. Um, we have this, the control room. So I didn't really understand the point of the control room. Um, not gonna lie. So far is let me change the color and the name of my base. We are, of course, the cheese factory properly now. I can take that beacon off and just have this. So that's lovely. Um, so it acts as a beacon, but it's a pretty costly beacon. We have this. So this lets you navigate your whole base. And you can see this thing has gotten quite chunky. Um, there's loads of just rooms at this point, I suppose. So you might want to these two up. I'll show you in a second. And map room. So the scan room over there, but I'll show you that in two moments. Um, otherwise, yeah, the control room, it shows you the time of day, shows you where the sun is, shows you a map of your base, but that's only what you're looking at there anyway. And shows you your power, um, how much you're losing compared to how much you're gaining. That should be on 100. I'm not amazing at math, but I imagine 12.5 minus 6, uh, 0 0.65 is still good, but clearly not so much. I have built a shed load of solar panels um, in order to compensate for the map room. Um, so I was draining power and you might see a little message pop up now and again on the bottom of the screen saying um, emergency power only. Why have we got no music on? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, emergency power only. That is because the habitat, uh, the map room will still keep draining power no matter what. But this is the map room. This was in the last game um, and it was dead handy there. But I'm not 100% sure what the point of it is in this one. Um, so you have a scan distance base range of 300 meters, which is dead handy for starting out. It means you can find all those little extra things that you um, may be missing around the thing. So you have this, you can set it to anom I'm not there, anomalies, which I think the anomaly that popped up last time was that, I think. I'm not 100 sure, but we'll pop that on. Oh no, it's down there. So this is the scan, so it's down there. Oh, I might go looking for that later on. Um, but you can set it to whatever's around. Data boxes, it's kind of use, semi useful. Um, so it will, I don't know if it's just a bug with the game at the moment, but it will keep showing you ones that are already open. So you have to kind of, at the moment, you have to memorize which ones are you've already done and which ones you know, might be new. Data boxes are the ones that give you the blueprints just straight out. But otherwise, it's still pretty useful to have this. I mean, we can use it for lithium. Um, everything else right now, we're kind of good on. The outcrop stuff. Yeah, it's all right. It's still a random chance and that stuff, so it's not, you know, whatever. Um, but if we start scan, uh, upgrading the range, so you can start using this. Uh, scan room upgrade, then we can potentially 
find some extra stuff. I'm hoping it only shows you the stuff that's in range rather than just everything and then just saying, no, there's none of that here, but whatever. Uh, we do need a bit of magnetite for that kind of stuff. I have built this as well, scanner room HUD up chip upgrade. Um, so if I was looking for something specific, it would now show it as a marker on my map. So like a little icon over there or whatever um, to show you the right direction to go in. So that's handy. Um, and upgrades go in here, a little tube that slips up. So that's nice, right? That's cool. It is all right. Um, what else have we done? So we've got little bits of plants everywhere now. We can actually put stuff into these, um, though I haven't yet. And we do have grow beds that I found last time, um, or found while I was farming, um, that we're going to put outside and start growing some rubber plants and red wool and whatever, and make this base look lovely and colourful, like it doesn't already. Um, second storage room. So I've put this one into, I've made so many power cells and batteries and stuff like that while I haven't got the power cell charger um, that I needed a crate, uh, storage container for all of this stuff. Um, so we are all set up with that now. Um, I've had to do a second room for all the kind of other bits. So we've got, yeah, ignore that a second. Uh, some spicier stuff, some lead, diamond, magnetite. Um, and then this one, we have a ruby. I need more of these. So if you see any, shout, okay? Don't keep it to yourself. Uh, they look just like diamonds, just red on this. Um, but I need three of these in order to make Bertha's next upgrade. I have made the first one so she can come down a bit further with us, so that's lovely. But diamonds are my best friend now. Uh, we have loads of these. I hope they'll come in useful later on, otherwise I've collected them for no reason, which is not going to be a surprise. Um, but yeah, that room over there, again, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this one. I've kind of just built it as a whatever at the moment. I may make this one mine. So what I'm planning to do with the other room is make an alien containment uh, tube. But because this one's a bit further out from the cliff, I can actually probably make this one uh, further down, in which case you can make a tube that you can swim in with your critters. So that's kind of fun. Um, but you put them in there, uh, put the eggs in there. So the sea monkey eggs that we've been collecting so far, you can put them in there and you'll make a mini version of the creature. So if we find anything ridiculously big out there, in deep blue, um, then potentially we find an egg, we can put it in here, and we can have a mini version of whatever was trying to kill us. And it doesn't try and kill you when you're swimming with it in there. So that's nice. But the big story is Bertha. She chunky. Yeah. She got big. Um, so I found a lot of upgrades for Bertha, a lot of room upgrades. So we have got a uh, fabricator one, storage one, sleep module, and a forgotten the name for it. Uh, basically, this one lets you take what are you called? Oh, it doesn't show me. Um, Docking Bay, that's the one, okay? So this one has to go on the end because this one your prawn suit attaches to. Um, and if you don't know what your prawn suit is, that was the big black thing that, that lady jumped at us in. Uh, the hers had a big F off blade on it, which mine doesn't get, I don't think. But again, handy stuff. Um, what we are, the only problem with it is it does make Bertha a little bit slow and a little bit, uh, how is that put it? Temperamental in terms of her movement. Um, so we are going to just take off the back two bits. The reason we're taking off the back two is because we have a few bits in these ones I want to keep hold of and take down with us. But otherwise, Bertha's still, you know, she chunky, she got a good ass. Not quite as thick, but she got a good ass. But this is the fabricated one, so I needed this one in order to make Bertha's upgrades. Uh, so we've made the first one. This is the one that we need the ruby for. I only need two. Okay, everything else that I can make and I have already, so I need one more ruby. And we can take Bertha deeper into the blue. Uh, the third one, I can actually make the third one already, if I had that, and Bertha could come down really deep. Okay, keep an eye out, one more ruby, and then we can take Bertha down as deep as she can go. We've already got the alphabet, so that's nice and easy. Um, what else have we done? We have done, okay, so I've prepped this place out, ready to go hunting for stuff. We have power cells, batteries, water, first aid kits. We aren't going to do food because we have the knife, so we can cook on the go. Lovely, right? Uh, we have this, this is the container room, uh, storage room. So we have plenty of space here to keep everything with us, um, or anything we find out there. Plenty of room for rubies, right? But we also have in here, we have beacon. So, and this, okay, I'll go into this in a sec. Beacon is, so I've been messing around with it a little bit. I should really start doing it straight away. I did start doing it in the first one. Um, you don't get much in the way of direction for this game, um, not story-wise, although that too. 
direction in terms of where you're going, whatever. It's all blue, it's all dark. It, you only kind of really know based on scenery and stuff like that. However, there is little bits of scenery that does repeat itself. So setting up beacons and making it, you know, X, Y, and Z is the only way you're gonna know where you're going, which is why we've started doing them for Fake like, Fighter. Yeah, the weird roots cave system, which I'll go into in a second. Or you'll understand when we get that later on. So I'm gonna take a beacon with me. I'm hoping that once we get to that other bit of the crash ship, it doesn't go away because the maintenance one is still there. That means that we have an extra piece to kind of use um, to navigate everything, which is, would be really handy. But obviously you're staring at this thing, okay? This is the stasis rifle. This is really handy in the first one. It was the only thing I could use really, other than my Seamoth's torpedoes, um, to kill Reapers, okay? So she might be really handy. Um, you fire it, it traps them in this weird bubble orb thing. Um, it means you can run in there and stabby, stabby, stabby. Okay, which means that pink thing will not get me again. Okay, hopefully. It will get me. I can guarantee that. I'm leaving it in here because I don't want to make things too easy for myself. Um, so hopefully, leave it in there. We'll use it as like a last case scenario or last ditch scenario. The only downside is taking off the sleeper module, which is over there somewhere, uh, means that I won't materialize back in here, I don't think. Um, but I do need to kind of leave that alone, I think, really. Anyway, we are going to head out over to the ship, I think. That might be... I think that might be the jellyfish path. Okay, I mean, that's not so bad now that Bertha is chunky. So, do you want, you'll join me back over there. Okay, we'll start going to the tunnel uh, and we bump it into all those lovely, colourful creatures. Um, I'll see if you guys back in. Cool? Cool. Right, guys, so yeah. It is back with the jellyfish. Uh, I went back in here first, well, when I went in the first time, obviously I was swimming. And I realized after watching about the footage that I was an idiot. No surprise, right? Um, I wasn't even using my sea glide when I was trying to get back to Bertha. So, you know, big dum dum on me. Just eyes are weird. Okay, keep an eye on that damage because that's gone down a couple of points. I don't know why. I don't think I've bumped into anything, but I could be completely wrong. Or you guys could be very, very painful. I don't think I'm gonna like this. No, you're fine actually, that's not tight cap. So it's good that we took off those extra two bits from Bertha, it means we can sweep through here a little bit easy. If it was kind of open, if we knew where we were going-ish, I wouldn't be so worried about taking Bertha down with us. Um, but like Okay, just get through. Like, even this is a bit tight. So, okay. I'm gonna try and go for that, the supply drop first. Um, just because. Just get through, come on. You are weird up close. I mean, weird from far away, to be fair with you. Okay, I'm just gonna come out of nowhere, all right? What's the camera? Uh, yeah, so I think it would have been probably very difficult to get through all of that with Bertha being as long as she was. I mean, it still wasn't a picnic getting through as like, half the length, but, you know, there's something. Yeah, look, we, we're going back up to land, I think. Light! Ooh, structure. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna show you this as well. Like if you, so if I get out now, I get spent like sent right back out. Okay, that is because gravity is a thing. Okay, I didn't realize it would hurt me. So again, good thing we took out the other two bits because the other bits might have really hurt me. Uh, otherwise, anyway, this bit, yeah. So we're gonna pull both. Like it's made for both. Let's get out. Okay, that's weird. Am I? I don't know. That's weird. The water physics actually work in there. Like, it won't let me down. Okay, that's really strange. Okay, so we kind of. Right, I didn't anticipate the food situation a little bit. Although I did, and I said I could handle it because of the cook. Who are you? That's, I mean, I reckon he's gonna try and 
you know, eat me. Uh, no doubt. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, not really anything, but whatever. I feel like I've seen. So I've seen. I got the steps first. We'll go that way in a bit. Okay, that was that thing, wasn't it? Which is far away from me, so that's fine. Ah, oh, cool. The icicles are falling off. That's kind of cool. Neat. God, it's so pretty. This game. I like the sound. I look. Oh, I love the sound. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I, I will go that way. I just want to make sure. I mean, this is the way out now, so I may as well go in. Okay. Let's go in. Get out of the cold. Yep, white out is fading. Good. Just let me see what I'm doing. Okay, maybe they're going to force me to make a flashlight. Um, maybe they heard me. Spy penguin. Okay. What is that? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Data download spy penguin. It's got a remote control. Reconnaissance tool for exploring the surface. <laughs> that is cool. That's fun. All right. We will make one of those at some point. Okay, what we got here? Snow fox. Right. Yes, this is this little speeder thing. So I did see. That's what I think is down that little left hand. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on there. Large room. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Uh, that's what I think is down that little path. I think I've seen videos of the Sky Fox um, being piloted down there. Okay, we got a large one. That's cool. That's nice and chunky. And we needed the extra piece for the open locker for some reason. Large room partition. Okay, whatever. Battery. Okay, always handy. Extra batteries. If this is... Is this just going to be... Alright, we got some new music. Music! Uh, okay. I'm not sure what's out there. I can't get out of the window, so we'll go out around the side. Yeah, I've seen the video of the Skyfox being... Okay, I nearly missed that. Uh, being piloted, and I'm pretty sure it was down there, over towards that big white... Lack of a better word, bear. Forklift, can I scan it in this one? I can't make, I can't make it. This, like, there were a lot of forklifts in the first one. Um, but you can never scan them. You can never make one for yourself. For some reason, you can scan and refabricate everything else, but not the forklift. What was I Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is what you have to build the snow fox on. Acquired. Acquired. It's a little bit... It's a bit weird in here, like, in terms of... Um, Collision detection, like, yeah, it's a little bit strange. I mean, I know it's only access, so you know, that probably sort that stuff out, but it's just a bit, yeah, off. But that's why they do this, you know. They made such an amazing game out the first one. The early access stuff was, you know, so great to watch. Um, I was watching it back in yesterday, I was watching uh, Jack's, like, full release of the game. Um, and it's just, I might do, I might go back and play it again. Uh, like, if, once I, you know, if you want to see that run alongside this, maybe, like, give me a shout if you want to see the first game played. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind. I don't know if I'm going to otherwise, but... I've just got a capture thing for my PlayStation. Um, and I've got the first one on there. So, if you're interested. A bench, another bench, because we didn't have enough fun with the first bench. Indoor grow bed. Okay, so this, I might turn one of those rooms then into an indoor farm. That's what we'll do. Um, once we've got... Take item. But there wasn't any item. What's the item? What was that? Lubricant. I imagine. Okay, fine. Whatever. Oh, you can't scan these in this one. Oh, I mean, like, you can make... I don't know. I got very into the aesthetics of the first one, so I, I had the little lab, even though you can't really have a lab. I made one, you know, the flasks and the whatever. Um, what else have we got? 
Can I? Ah, oh, I can't take it. Ah, oh, the f you could. So I found all these posters in the first one, and keep calm, kitty, was like one of the things. You know, download sample extraction. I think what's that? The Vespa has continued to support my request for more staff members to investigate the anomaly frozen in the ice. We have made steady progress with the excavation and are close to being able to extract a viable sample. Special care will be needed for safe transport if sample extraction is successful. Ooh, what have you been messing with? Uh, yeah, like I said, collision detection, weird. Picture frame. Okay, that's kind of nice. We can put some pictures around the base. Don't know how to take a picture yet, but that's something. Open locker. No, okay. The locker's got chunky space. I might have to check. Ooh. Americano! Uh, okay, we'll drink that. Vital signs stabilizing. I need some food, really. Okay. Oh, is that? That is power cell! <clears throat> right, this is what I wanted. How much? Full blueprint, wonderful. Okay, we are sorted on that stuff from now on. Um, I will not be making any more power cells. Probably. I will probably. Um, why are you... So you let me have it here, but you didn't let me have it the other one. That's strange. But I would... I, I nearly missed that as well. I could have just walked right past that. Are we going to have a cantina? Are like we going to get all this stuff going? Okay, so this seemed not to be much. But, you know, that's handy. More than... Just more blueprints more than anything. Um, I've only got... One Sky Fox though, haven't I? Maybe there's more pieces outside. Like I said, we found another piece of the Snow Fox. New technology created. I'm gonna take these now. Do I have my builder with me? To start doing that, I don't know why. I don't have my builder with me. Oh, that was a stupid move. Uh, that's a dumb move on my part because I'm imagining they're giving you all this lubricant so you could make it right yeah look titanium lubricant battery machines oh damn okay um, to save you guys having to sit through it do I have the fabricator? I do have the fabricator, actually. What does it take to make a habitat builder? Or a kit, a computer chip, okay. Ah, damn. Okay, I'm gonna go grab that and then I will be right back. So, slight glitch. I've managed to teleport. The secrets of teleportation are now known to me. I have jumped 100 meters from my base. Um, there's also... I don't understand what's happened there. Okay, I'm going to leave this in, but I need my stuff in there. I don't want to lose that. And I think I'm not going to come this way until I get the sea fo uh, The fox. Sky fox. Sky fox. Star fox. Fox. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to reload on that last bit, grab the stuff again, and I'll be back. Sorry, I'm not sure what's going on with this. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, we are just building the hover pad, so that's done now. And then potentially we can make the snow fox. Um, that's pretty cool. Also, I seem to hover around here. Okay, so that little glitch earlier. Um, right, yeah, so I was uncoupling uh, two bits of my module just so I can leave it here uh, to go back. And for some reason, it teleported me all the way up there somewhere. Um, it gave me that little notification as well that there are people in danger or there's distress signal or something. Um, okay, this is cool. How do I turn? Okay, let me do that. Gonna show it off now or something, are you? Right, uh, let's get off the thing again. Oh, that's okay. It goes where you're looking. 
and it turns to it as well. I'm not sure I like that. Okay, that's a bit... Uh, actually, what? that's not so bad once you start to get going. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, so like I said, um, so ten minutes put me up there. It gave me a message saying that there was distress signal. Um, so we do need to try and get back up there again. Um, I did have to reload the game back to a previous save, so I don't have that little ping now. Um, unfortunately, I would I rather I wanted to do that rather than lose the bits of the sea truck, um, just because it means uh, it's not going to work, is it? No, is it? I mean, no. Oh really? Uh, okay. Uh, can I? Why does it tell me to scan you? Oh, pick up the sea truck. Cool. Sea fox. Snow fox. Whatever. Okay, I'm not percent sure what is the deal around here then. Um, I did go down. I went through. Okay, it's gone now. So the crash ship doesn't appear to be there. Um, I'm not sure if that's just not put in with early access yet, but I thought it was ready. I thought this first kind of section of the game was kind of done-ish. Um, I mean, we shall see. We might find it yet, but I don't know what's going on with that. boost is not very big. So if I scan progress one of but it was one of I don't understand what's going on there. That's slightly strange. We would have to do build like another snow fox in order to get the last bit. Yeah, what's the deal there? Maybe this is, I mean, this isn't the end of what they've done yet so far, surely. Nope, okay, so we've got something. What's this then? Uh, okay, alright, heat fruit, so we already had that. Download data, crystal research log. Uh, this cave has a strange temperate environment, the cause of temperate atmosphere is still unknown. The cave system is lined with crystal formations, investigating gate news formations may need to further understand. Okay, I don't really see much point. I'll take the heat through because I'm kind of getting a little bit hungry I guess. So we'll take two of those, pop back up. Well, I thought it was going to be something. And I've already got you haven't I? Can I just take you? Mum's not around. Shall I a pet in the base? Why the heck is the mum? <laughs> okay, maybe this will come into it later, I guess, because there's not much here right now. I'm gonna jump back out. I'm gonna try and explore around a little bit, guys, see if I can find anything else, but I mean, this could be the... I don't think this is the end. But I'll jump you guys back in if I find anything. Okay guys, so I potentially missed a lot of beacons. Uh, beacons! They are the guy to think for the story, I guess. Or direction. Or idiots, me. Um, I thought I had to jump, and I did jump, from there to there. Oh my little uh, snow fox, which we've called Candy, to go with Bertha. I don't know really why they go together, in my head they go. Um, but we managed to find the jump upgrade for this, which we have we went all the way back to the base to grab some silver to make um, because I thought that's what we had to get to jump across. Uh, so we are now on track for something, I think. Okay, something big, I guess. Um, this is. Okay, the screen is shaking. Oh, 
Snow Fox? Where's my Snow Fox? Snow Fox! Where are you? Are you gone? No, thank God for that, you're still there. Uh, okay, we're gonna take you and just walk, I think. Jesus Christ, what was that? Ice worms continue to slow progress. Thumpers have helped with managing the worm problem in the area. Okay. Thumper. Thumps things. Nice. Okay, so we have that now. Jesus Christ. Just when I kind of thought I was getting used to all the creatures in this game, they throw another one in. And you don't even get to see him, really. Like... Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we've got something. Um, I'm not sure what it's used for. There's a ladder there, okay. Uh, valuable resources have been found in dense pockets in many of the nearby fissures and Nad Cave. Okay, I think it's going to be and caves. Uh, or Nad Caves, that could be a weird place to go, really. Uh, continued research is needed to understand the formation of these pockets. We got quartz, we got titanium, just a lot of titanium. Yeah, titanium quartz, that's it. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's alright. I mean, I don't need it. There's nothing I need, unfortunately. Uh, okay. I don't know whether to get on my fox again. So where did I come from? I came from up there, right? So if we go down here... No, is that where I came from? That's where I came from. I think. Okay. He nearly got my ass. Okay, you need to stop that, dude. And I think I might need to get back on my snow fox, because I don't think... I don't think he can hurt me if I'm on that. You are going to have to take one for the team a few times. <laughs> that upgrade panel is just hanging off there. <laughs> uh, that's meant... Uh, let me do that. Okay, let's get back on. Okay, if I stop... Where I am. Got it. Okay. Where are we going now? Then? Oh, what happened to that? Glacier. Bicycle, sorry. Right, okay. Then I'm going the wrong way again. <laughs> If it turns out there was an easy way to get up here this whole time, I'm going to be so miffed. Okay... Yeah, leave me alone mate, how about that? Right, so you can... Ow. Ow. Yeah, I'm nowhere near you now, how are you still hurt? Okay, you are a big boy. Gonna roar at me just to show me you're still here, right? Okay, let's go that way then. Okay, we came up from that way. Let's go down this way. Let's go step this way. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ow! Ow! You've got one. I draw with a nose that big, I can understand the anger. Okay, let's get back on it. And let's get the heck out of here. This is cool though. Pretty. We found something, I guess. I'm not really sure what the something we have found is, but it's something. Uh, let's go. I think, don't think he can get me when I'm up here. I could be completely wrong. I'm completely wrong about that. You are stabbing me with stabbing me. How did you get me that third time? I don't know. Okay. You're just gonna keep stabbing at me, aren't you? No. Is 
just the one. You probably ate it, or you should have eaten it that time. Okay, what runs out first? The... Are you serious? Leave me alone. You hear it if it's me? I wonder. Right, what is that? That's cool. Like, I don't think it's just cool because of that moss thing in there. That's not like a big map in there. Uh, I'm gonna jump down here. I don't think... Okay, I need to go over there. If I just keep jumping... Do you hear me? Yep, yeah, you do still hear me. You are one ugly mother. I need to get those thumpers, I think. Let's get into the cave, though. See what we can find here, but anything. So I did... Are you kids still in here as well? Ah, oh, leave me alone, man. What? You need to calm down. Can I make thumpers? How much do they cost to make with it? What do I need for thumpers? Large room, anterior grow bed, power cells. Where are the thumpers? Thumper, battery and titanium. Thumps things, okay. What is that? This is more pre this can be more precursor tech, isn't it? Yeah. Precursor technology. What the heck is that thing? Precursor cabling. Is that what it is? Precursor cable placeholder entry. Okay. <laughs> but Joe, we found purple tablet and these always unlocked extra stuff in the last game. So I can data downloads, data back entry. Oh yeah, there we go. See, but I didn't see how many I needed, but it was a blueprint up in the top left. Uh, okay, so let's see what we can find. So, the tablets in the first game opened all the doors in... You still got me that, it's that third time. I mean, that was maybe being stupid, I should've just waited, but I thought I'd be far enough away. You got some range on you, kid. Ooh, there we go, ladder. Yeah, okay, how about leave me alone? I need to grab a snow box. I'm still- whoa! What the hell? Ah! Can I go up there? Are you gonna leave me alone? Whoa, okay, you are one ugly. I was just saying, I don't know what you look like. And then you come up and say hi. You suck. I don't, like, you don't look nice. You're ugly. You're still ugly. Jesus Christ, man. All right, do you are. I got this out, and I might have to use it. Uh, I have no med kits on me, do I? Nope. That was smart. Oh, you are going to kill me, aren't you? against that. Give me... Oh, I love you. Thank you so much. Give me another one. Come on, give me another one. Oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. I'll be here all week. Uh, okay. Right, what am I doing next? I don't know. Why would you come up here? What is up here? There's nothing... There's that, I guess. I can see that now. Uh, okay. Right, so we're going to try and get over there. Jesus, how many men I like get, I mean the thumper, that's how many I get around him I suppose. Is this more cabling? Yeah, that's more cabling, I'm not even going to be able to scan that, am I, because I've already done one. Yep. 
to this more carefully. Although well, he's not coming back by the sound of it. I can't hear him anymore. Nope. Can I hear him? I'm not sure. That's probably just ice creaking. This. Okay. As annoying as he was, he looked amazing. Like that was a cool monster. That's still you shouting at me, isn't it? Are these like your tunnels? Like it's like very ribbed and stuff like around here. So I wonder if it's like earthworm tunnels. It could well be earthworm tunnels. What have we got around here? Ooh, purple tablet. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what this is going to be for yet. So I haven't found anything that needs one, but two or four. Okay, so once we can make them, I'm probably going to try and craft two and keep them in the sub as well. Uh, why is the screen vibrating again? Are you going to try and get me from up here? You probably could actually. I'm laughing at it and it's probably true. I'm getting back. Yeah, I'm going back in. <coughs> That's why him screaming because he can't get me. I hope he can't get me. Oh, stop screaming. That's not fair. He's just trying to mess with me again. Right, so we need two more pieces of the purple tablet. Okay, right, do you know what that? We're gonna do this first. Yeah, okay, we're gonna freeze you in place. Because I don't wanna have to deal with it. I've been disconnected from my people for so long, but I remember there is something nearby of value. Okay. Only your memory were less selective. It is your memory. Yep, I knew that's gonna get me. There's no way to dodge you, is there? Although I should. Ooh. Okay. Where are you? Yeah. What? It doesn't affect you. Oh, that is n not fair. Sure, that was a great shot. All right. I'm just uh, okay. That's why because it didn't actually hit you. I think it hit the rocks. Okay. So theoretically, if I follow the cabling, it'll be fine. And there, yeah, see, haha, <laughs> suck on that. Uh, maybe I should go down there. Yeah, I probably should. So here it takes takes two of number. Uh, okay. I was gonna. Ow! Yeah, I was gonna jump on that ridge, but the cliff seemed to have caught me. Oh, beautiful. Got the tablet number three. Fantastic. Okay, we have. That's where the purple tablet comes in, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Right, well. I don't know what's in there, but we'll find out. Right, what we're going to try and do then is. Because <coughs> I don't think you guys are going to. If I get killed by the worm, I will show you it, see what happens, see what the uh, kind of animation stuff is. But I'm going to try and sneak around and find a purple tablet piece, because there's probably. There's got to be one more out here. If that door's here. Then the tablets are up here. Um, unless. Is that there? I don't know. Uh, what I might do then is I might whack you back out. <laughs> I might whack you back out. Okay, that was something. <coughs> Sorry for all the you're coughing so much, but I think I'm coming down with something. It might play. If it kills me, then we'll see. But otherwise, I think fine. But, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then we'll do this to you. Yeah. Uh, okay, you're gonna sit right in the middle of where I need to go. Yep. I see right where I need to go. I don't even know if I'm going to go this way. Probably not. There's nothing here. Come on. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. The lighting. That's really pretty. Uh, okay. So there is a purple tablet piece somewhere knocking around. Uh, that I've either missed in the tunnels or the... Oh, I need me now. It's ice. Haha, <laughs> you can't get me in this, can you? Yes, okay, fine. You can get me in that too. 
You're just no fun, alright? You just, you have a boiling hot nose. Uh, you are just no fun. There's nothing you cannot break. It's just not, like, how do you live like that? You just walk up to stuff and just break it. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Right. You are gonna end up messing my whole game up for a while, I Yeah, like I was saying, all right, I'm going to try and find the last little tablet piece, okay? If I can get it, then I will come back here and we'll go down into that whatever and do some exploring together. Um, if I can't, then we will head out over to um, the other thing I was telling you guys about, the other network. Okay, that one thing. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Okay. Like I said, I was going to let you rejoin if I get the death animation for that. And I did! So, you know, there's that too. It was like it's perfectly timed. Like, we're in sync. Like, he really didn't kill me. Yeah, he did. Okay, fine. Uh, what did I lose? <clears throat> I don't remember what I had. Okay, I don't think I lost a lot, so that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, okay. I lost the Snow Fox, actually, with this upgrade. Okay. I'm going to have to remake that as well. Um, yeah. I'll be back. Howdy, guys. All right, we're back. Um, a few things have happened since the last time. Uh, and I'm touching on wood for this one because I'm not sure if it's just, you know, natural or whatever. I think it's a bug. Um, I'm a god now at this. Oh, I'm a worm god, I should say. Uh, I'm not god at everything. Worms don't hurt me anymore. And I don't know why. Um, so, a few things happened since then. I've gone, I found the other tablet pieces. Uh, I went back and made them. Uh, tip for when you play this game eventually. There are a shed load of diamonds on this uh, little glacial plateau thing. Um, so if you need them, mine them. They're a crazy amount of them out here. If you just have a look around, they are out here. Um, and the other pieces for the tablet were around, if I looked. So there you go, that's nice. Um, I'm on cubes however, which is the other piece you need to make the purple tablets. Not so uh, common, not so around here. I don't know if that's on purpose. Um, I feel like maybe, quite possibly I've missed them, um, but because normally Subnautica is very good at giving you the pieces you need in order to make the story kind of progress there and then so you don't have to go back and forth for that much. Um, building stuff you need to farm, but normally they're pretty good at whatever. Um, so I went back, I made a couple of thumpers. Uh, I've made some purple tablets as well now. Um, since, however, putting down the purple the thumper, I was attacked a couple of times by another earthworm as I went into the cave and when I came into this bit. However, since then, they haven't come near me. Like, look, seriously, I'm not just... I can go wherever and there's no earthworms. And you can hear them screaming in the back, like you can hear them roaring. And that's them there. Um, and I put one the thumper down and he was attacking it for a little while. I don't know what's then happened to that thumper. It may well have been destroyed by this point. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of weird. I get in, you know, early access is buggy. I get it. Um, like this. Uh, okay, you can leave me alone. Unfortunately, I'm not impervious to all of them. Just the worst. Yeah, you need to stop. Okay, I'm going to shut the crap out of you. Uh, how about that? Okay, take that for now. And me and you will go our separate ways. Anyway, though, we're back to the story. Okay, so we've got our purple tablets. I've made a couple of them just in case. Um, and I've got enough with me iron cubes and stuff like that to make a couple more if I have to. I don't want to have to spend my iron cubes quite as much as that. Um, but yeah, we need some nice double drives. Then, oh, also, yeah, I've painted it. I'm not sure if I like the colours as well. I was trying to match my base, but I don't think it's turned out quite as well. And for some reason, I've called her Candy. Um, I'm not sure if I like that name for it, but you know, whatever. I have also got another Snow Fox with me. Um, because I had, I thought this one was gone. I thought after we got attacked at the end of that last bit, um, I thought we were done for. I'm gonna leave the other one out here. As you can see, this one, not such in good state. That accessory pad is just hanging off there. Um, so that's fun. But I'm gonna leave those out here just because I don't know how much uh, room I've got. Uh, right, so we can do this now. Purple tablet, whack. Or oh, magnetize, whatever. That's less dramatic than what I thought it was. So hopefully there'll be some stuff in here that will help with the story. But we shall see. I mean, hopefully Alan's gonna perk up in a minute. He said that we were close to something. Ooh, right, yeah. 
So if I get the prawn suit and I get the mining thing, I can just come in here and I can mine that for iron cubes. And that is our iron cube situation sorted. I need to scan that. Okay, fine. I thought I'd scan those, but whatever. Um, yeah. So, anything happening yet? No, I don't think so. What's that? Nothing. The iron cube. Okay, there's an iron cube in here, but I needed to use an iron cube to get in here. So, that doesn't count. Um... That is a nice rock. Yeah, we're going to frame that one. And that one, apparently. Um, data terminal. Research log. Because research, please hold up. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, I mean, it's still early access and whatever, but... I, is this not what Alan was on about? Like, surely he should be talking at this point. No? I don't know. Okay, do you know what? I feel like I did a lot of work there just for that. And like you haven't seen it obviously, but this has taken me a good couple of hours to sort out. <laughs> um, all right, well, that was a bust. Okay, that was a bit of a weird way to end that bit. All right, slightly disappointing. Um, I was expecting a few more story elements there. I was hoping for a few more story elements there, uh, given how much back and forth I've been doing. <laughs> Um, but we found some bugs, we found some weird things, we found a secret teleportation. Um, next episode, I will have another hunt around while I'm off camera and see if I've missed anything. Quite possibly, I may have been ridiculous. Um, otherwise, though, this game is still in early access, so potentially, like we saw in that terminal, there's a few placeholder stuff like that going on. Um, maybe it's just not in there yet. Either way, okay, the game is still beautiful, the character models, the sound, the monsters, the monster models. It's all the beautiful Subnautica that I remember. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one guys, uh, I will be putting up another episode of this tomorrow, along with something else I think. Um, like, subscribe, comment below, all the feedback I appreciate, uh, but mostly guys, just you know, stay safe, be kind to each other, have some fun out there.